Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on recoding variables in SPSS. So I have here a data view, and I have four variables. I have an ID number, an independent variable, two levels, control and CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. And then I have a pretest score and a post-test score. And these are recorded in scale, at the scale level of measurement. So say I want to recode pretest to be ordinal, low, medium, and high. And I have a range of values for each of those ordinal levels. So I go to uh, transform, and I'm going to recode into different variables. I'm going to move pretest over into this list box, and I'm going to name the new variable PT ordinal. And then the label I'll make uh, the same, PT underscore ordinal. So you're going to select change or click change here. So you can see pretest into PT ordinal. And then I go down here, it says old and new values. And from the first value, I want the lowest possible value. So it's range lowest through value. That's what I'm selecting. And I want it to go up to, let's say, 37. And I want that value to be low. So then I'm going to move over here. I'm going to change the output variables uh, to strings, make that notation. And then in the new value, I'm just going to type low. So all of the values from the lowest value in the pretest variable up to 37 will now be recategorized as low. So I'm going to add that. And now I'm going to create a range. And let's say we'll go from 38 to, let's say, 44. Again, output variables are strings. I'm going to call this one medium. Remember to click add. So now we have lowest through 37 will convert to low, 34 or 38 rather through 44 will be medium, and then we can do range value through highest. So it'll be 45 to the highest value. And of course here I'll put high. I'll add that. So I have low, medium, and high. Click continue. And now you can see that you can click the OK button here on this recode into different variables dialog. Click OK. And you can see now it's associated uh, with the pretest, the medium, the high, and low based on this pretest value. You can see here an example of 32, it's been converted to low. A 40, it's been converted to medium. And here's a 45, it's been converted to high. So we can also look for a specific value and code that. I want to show you how we can add that. So I'm going to open the same dialog, go into old and new values. And I'm going to remove 40 through, 45 through highest as high. I'm going to remove that one and create a range 45 through 49. And set that one as the high value. And then add a specific value of 50. Let's just say this particular value demands a higher level of caution. So I'll just call this one caution because this will be the highest score possible on, uh, on the pretest. So I'm going to add that. So 50 will change into caution. The low value through 37 low. 38 through 44 medium, and 45 through 49 now will convert to high. We'll click Continue and OK. And you can see now there was a value of 50 down toward the bottom of the data set. And in the new variable, it's now coded as caution. So that those are the options you have from the uh, transform and recode into different variables uh, other than the uh, 
missing variables. Uh, you have the range lowest to the value, uh, value through the highest, and then a specified value. You can also select all other values as well. But this uh, feature in SPSS is an efficient uh, way to create a new variable and move it, in this case, uh, from scale to uh, ordinal. It's important to note that you don't have to convert uh, a value or a range of values into an ordinal variable, as I did here. You could also convert it into another scale level measurement. Uh, for example, you could take the value of 50, and you could recode that, and you would you would unclick the um, output variables or strings, and you, you recode that to say 55. You know, so you can you can move from scale to scale, and similarly you could do the same thing with uh, range. Now you could take a certain range, say um, 44 through 49. and change that to some other numerical value, uh, say uh, 47. So this will take this range and convert it to 47. Now it's important to be aware here that if you're starting with a scale variable where the difference between each value was equal interval and you make a uh, recode like this that you are going to be losing uh, that equal interval property. Uh, but you can complete that function in SPSS. You can recode into different variables, uh, scale variables, ordinal uh, or nominal. If you are converting into a string though, make sure you check off the output variables or strings box down here. I hope you found this video on recoding variables in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. And I'll be happy to assist you.